Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 12th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. So the easiest way is by the like, share, subscribe, comments, does wonders for the growth. Uh, thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchase Primary Reads, the Extendeds, the Buy Me Your Coffees, the donations, everything really helps out uh, and continue for me to continue doing this. So thank you very much indeed. Um, description box is all the information you need and cross watches you are more than welcome. Okay guys, what's going on? Okay, hearing <laughs> Belinda Carlisle leave a light on for me. Interesting. Let's see, two more. We have the Two of Swords. Okay. This kind of feels like an indecision. I almost feel like this, you might have two energies that want to fight over you, but you're not aware of them. I don't mean like physical fights, but I kind of feel like there's possibly um, two energies that are maybe vying for your attention here, possibly. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. We have the lovers. This is a decision. We have temperance. Knight of wands, four of swords, four of pentacles, a hermit and the ace of cups. Eight of Wands and the Star, Six of Swords and the Wheel. The Wheel is with a Magician, Abracadabra. Uh, your life is now going to be the same again. There is big changes coming. You've got two fives here. Ta fives represent change. Two fives adds up to the Ten of the Wheel of Fortune. And that's with the Magician and the Six of Swords. You are... Okay. Okay. There is this. It might not be two people. This might be one person who's wanting to come forward to you. Um. Because I'm hearing another song now, and I'll explain why in a minute when I go back to those cards. But let's go through them first. So we've got the two of swords. And again, like I say, this is, I, I feel like you're the one in the middle here with the blindfold on. Uh, and I almost feel like there's two, two energies possibly. Or it's one person that's wanting to come in, but they, they've got like a duality within themselves of wanting to come forward, not wanting to come forward. Because they might be in a relationship already. There's a decision that needs to be made. This could be you. This could be the other way around. It could be you in a relationship that's, and you may be being, energetically drawn elsewhere. What we're aware of is, leave the light on for me. <laughs> the, somebody's, somebody doesn't want you to forget them. Somebody does not want you to forget them. For some of you that's got, um, you feel like your intuition's been blocked recently, um, you need to get out in the sun more. The sun is very, very positive and very, very good for the pineal gland. So, even if it's just doing sun gazing, but obviously not in the peak times at um, sunrise and sunset, is very, very good for the pineal gland. It's got the two of swords, which can indicate a blockage in the recent past. We've got a high priestess here. So this could be blocked intuition. Um, so yeah, get yourself, even vitamin D is, is important as well. I'm hearing uh, anything, algae, so anything, anything greens uh, is going to really help you. Iodine, sp spirulina, um, All those superfoods that I cannot for the life of me reel off while I'm trying to think of them. But you know what I mean. Um, 
healthy greens. No, gone. What we're not aware of is the seven of wands. I almost feel like this energy is gaining momentum here. The energy is going to get so much that this person has to act. They have to fight their ego. Um, maybe an ego is keeping them safe to not wanting to reach out here. The advice is the Five of Swords. Now, as Five of Swords it, it indicates, for you as advice, I'd, I'd probably just wouldn't get involved in this. You need to let this person deal with whatever it is they're dealing with. Because I kind of feel like this, this person doesn't feel worthy enough. This person walked away possibly in the past because they don't feel worthy enough. But they can't, I don't know, it feels like there's an energetic draw to you. The outcome is the five of wands. Um, I kind of feel like this is them in their internal conflict, getting tired of whatever this situation is. Getting tired of... Um, <sighs> this could be even their friends getting tired of you, them talking about you and kind of getting them sitting down and thinking, oh, is this still going on? Um, so someone's going f going through a, the motions of it here. I honestly, it could be you, but I honestly think you have no clue about this because I'm looking at you there in the blindfolds, not particularly knowing what's going on. Let's look quickly before I go back to what I was saying. Um, I just want to see justice because we've got the High Priestess here uh, and the Two of Swords represents the High Priestess in um, the Moon in Libra, the High Priestess in Justice. So let's just see what Justice has to say. Justice is with the Three of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. If there is a third party situation going on here with the Three of Wands, um, it, the Page of Pentacles for me is Trouble in Paradise. Um, so there could be something that's possibly... This person is majorly conflicted. Majorly conflicted. They want to approach you, but they are massively in their heads. I almost feel like this is a person who they're instagram profile or whatever would indicate such happy times um loving partnerships loving friends loving life in the reality this is their heads conflict there's like a strange sort of draw to them but i do feel like this is somebody that either wants to apologize because i'm hearing um I'm looking at the Six of Swords there because we've got the Two of Swords as your main thing and we've got the Two of Swords that's stuck in the boat and I'm hearing um, Annie Lennox, why this boat is sinking, this boat is sinking. So whatever's going off with this person, they're, um, they're in some sort of turmoil here, going through decisions about you. Um, they've got a lot to to, to go through, to integrate, whatever it is, they're saying leave the light on for them. Obviously, use your, use your um, um, listen to your intuition on this. Uh, for some of you, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but you're going to know it's for you this week because you're going to see um, a four-number figure. You're going to see 2255, and it's going to be um, your uh, kind of acknowledgement. What do you want to see? The moon. This is kind of feel like all energies of this eclipse is changing a lot of things. We've got the sun in the deck. We've also got the moon in the background of the two of swords. So let's just see where the moon is. Change is happening. We've got the full death in the world. Okay, for some of you, you're gonna 
this this eclipse season is going to bring something to you, um, especially if it's in the twelfth house of the Mecua Gemini rising, possibly. Um, you're going to be offered an opportunity here, which might feel a risk with a fool. Take it. It's something that's going to be successful. So whatever that is, it's going to be different for all of you. There's going to be something sort of offers, like I say, especially if it's a 12th house thing of, because uh, uh, Pisces represents 12th house, so you might be a Gemini rising, like I say. The moon is with the king of pentacles and the eight of swords. Okay, there is some truth that's coming to the surface during this time, which is going to shed light on something. The Eight of Swords here in this deck, um, whatever truth is that the Ace of Swords is having, it's going to un unlock the blindfold. Okay, so these energies are going to um, play out for you. This might be a message for a cross watcher that they need to either come forward or walk away. Uh, for others of you, this is an energy where it's going off in the background and you're completely not aware of it. But subconsciously, they want you to leave a light, so don't forget them type of thing. Interesting, guys. Interesting. Where's that Ace of Swords? What's getting released? The wheels jumping out again and landed on top of the two, uh, the two fives. Big changes coming. The Ace of Swords is with the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant. So the truth comes out when something ends. Could be something to do with work or something spiritual or something in regards to government. Um, uh, it could very well be something government-wise. Uh, so we've got the Emperor next to that, so it could be some sort of boss, corporate, who knows, councils anything like that but some truth is coming to the surface here um yeah it's, 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 it's quite an annoying one in a sense because you're none the wiser with what's going on here unless this is your energy i don't think for many of you it is i think this is all happening in the background behind like the the veil and i almost feel like you just need to i'm gonna say prepare just prepare prepare for some rapid changes here um for some of you, it's about five weeks' time. I'm looking at the Five of Swords and saying five weeks. So there could be something that uh, dramatically changes, uh, like the wheel is spinning. This could be a, an element of good fortune here. Um, but do pay attention to any sort of new opportunities. If it feels a bit um, kind of like a... feels like a risk, like a fool, test it. You know, don't obviously dive in. Uh, use your intuition, of course. Um, but there's going to be an opportunity here that's going to be very, very fruitful. And someone's making a decision about you. But leave that with them. All right, guys, in your extended, we'll just look at this a bit deeper. We'll look at, um, we'll concentrate on what you can see and what you need to be uh, focusing on. Uh, the past, present and future. And uh, positives, negatives, as well as your next steps. Okay, guys, we have Moon in Libra. We have uh, Leo. We have um, something in Leo again. Completely gone blank. Seven. Saturn. Mars, possibly. Who knows? Um, Cancer Pisces. Aquarius. And Saturn in Leo as well. So it must be Mars. Lots of Leo energy. Gemini. Sagittarius. Libra. Sun in Capricorn. Virgo. Mercury in Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, Mercury in Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Saturn in Sagittarius. Swords, Wands, Pentacles, Cups, everyone's here. Those of you who stand out, let me know if it resonates. Uh, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, see you soon. Bye-bye.